Man United manager Eric Ten Hag will hope to have as many players available as possible for Brentford's Premier League visit next Saturday. Related articles Nasser Mazraoui Harry Maguire Lenny Oro Luke Shaw Tyrell Malaysia Related articles Kobe Mainu Mason Mount Alejandro Garnacho. Amod Related articles Manchester United host Brentford at Old Trafford in the Premier League on Saturday in a bid for a much-needed win. The Red Devils entered the October international break with a goalless stalemate against Aston Villa last weekend, extending their winless streak across all competitions to five games. They have also failed to score in four of their last five league matches. Despite the ongoing challenges, Eric Ten Hag has been given more time and will lead the team in the upcoming match against the Bees. This could potentially kickstart a crucial period for the United manager. As such a significant phase approaches, he will need to count on as many squad members as possible. Recent weeks have seen a surge in injury problems, but Therese hope that some of those currently sidelined may be fit for the Bees clash. Here's the latest update on the United injury situation. Injury, corrective procedure Nasser Mazraoui had to pull out from the Morocco squad this month after undergoing a minor precautionary corrective procedure due to palpitations. United anticipate his absence to last a few weeks. Morocco's head coach, Walid Regragi, has confirmed his optimism regarding Nasser Mazraoui's condition, stating, Nasser Mazraoui is not suffering from a dangerous illness. We hope he will be with us in the next camp in November. Possible return date, November injury, foot Harry. Maguire is currently sidelined with a foot injury sustained against Villa. After being substituted for Matthijs de Ligt at Villa Park, Maguire took to Instagram on Tuesday to express his frustration and determination, saying, Frustrated to pick up an injury at the weekend, will be a few weeks on the sidelines for me but he'll come back stronger. Possible return date, November injury, fractured metatarsal Lenny Yoro, who suffered a fractured metatarsal during the club's pre-season tour in the United States is on the mend after surgery. The 18-year-old is reportedly already walking unaided and hitting the gym at Carrington. On Wednesday, Yarrow provided an update on his recovery progress by posting a video on social media of himself working out on a treadmill, captioned, on the way back. Possible return date, November injury, calf reports suggest a November comeback for Luke Shaw who has been nursing a calf injury that ruled him out just days before Manchester United's season opener against Fulham. Despite initial hopes of a return last month, the England ace is still on the sidelines awaiting his season debut. However, manager Eric Ten Hag remains optimistic about Shaw's recovery, recently noting, we hope Luke Shaw can return after the international break quickly. He added with some caution, I don't know if it's the first game were hoping for. I can't in this moment tell this 100% with security but from now on we have two and a half weeks to work to the point but shortly definitely after he will be there. Possible return date, October injury, knee Tyrell Malaysia's absence since the end of the 2022-23 season due to an knee issue continues, although his rehabilitation is making steady strides. In August, Ten Hag provided a hopeful outlook for the defender, he is not that far, off, but he is now in a progress situation. At a relatively short notice, he can again return into team training and then into team performance in games. I think it would be possible, to be available again, in two months. Malaysia has been spotted back on the Carrington turf, participating in training sessions, which confirms his recovery is progressing well. Possible return date, October injury, hamstring Kobe Mainu was substituted during the latter stages of the draw with Villa, which led to him withdrawing from the England squad the next day. He didn't feature in the match against FC Porto due to a suspected hamstring problem, and it's uncertain if he returned too early against Villa. Ten Hag is expected to shed light on his situation when he addresses the media on Thursday. Possible return date, October 19th versus Brentford injury, knock slash head the head injury required stitches, and Ten Hag, speaking before the draw with Porto, mentioned that he had also suffered a knock. 
However, he did not provide further details about the severity of the injury. Possible return date, October 19 versus Brentford injury, knee despite playing the full 90 minutes against Villa, Alejandro Garnacho pulled out from the Argentina squad for this international break due to a knee issue. It's believed he had been dealing with the problem in recent weeks and his withdrawal from the squad was a precautionary step. The player appears to be on track for recovery in time to face Brentford this coming Saturday. On his Instagram post last Monday, Garnacho revealed, I had knee problems in the last two games and I won't be able to be with the national team. But I hope to recover so I can be on the next date. Possible return, October 19 versus Brentford. Injury, illness Ahmad was forced to withdraw from appearing with the Ivory Coast during the international break due to illness which was disclosed last Wednesday. The situation isn't deemed grave, and fingers are crossed for his return when the Premier League actions resume. Possible return, October 19 versus Brentford.